Hello and welcome to Bike Mobilia, the show that celebrates everything and anything about motorcycle collectibles. Now, come and meet my partner in crime. I'm Lawrence Lambert and this... You got me, I was just about to go then, mate. This You're is right? Gary Ashburn. Hiya. How you doing, mate? I'm all right, good to see you. And good hey? to see you. Yeah. Now this week, we're at the classic motorcycle show here at Stafford. Each week, Gary and I are gonna captain two teams. Yeah, we've got the Blues, yeah. which is you. Go on, you've you got blues. the Reds. And we'll have 150 pounds to spend in one hour, after which time, a judge will decide who got the best buy, and the who, best bargain. And who got the booby prize, well, basically. Well, that's probably normally win. Well, I don't know, I don't know moment. today. Shall no. we meet our judge? Yeah, let's have a word. Let's have a word very with Chris special Riley. judge. Hey, hey guys, hey. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Hannah Gazza. Nice to see you, nice Now, have you had a chance to look around? Yeah, I've been around and about and seen some very, very nice uh, pieces in my opinion, but I reckon the, um, we're looking for the collector who can really find something that will, over the years, hopefully appreciate in value and he'll get it for a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a bargain price. Ooh, but yes. <laughs> Guys, looks like the pressure's on. Shall we meet the contestants? Yeah, let's go and meet them, shall we? All right. This is Alice there. <laughs> Guess where he's from? I'm from Edinburgh. I live in Cuddy. Brilliant. I've been there actually. Have you? Yeah. Are you a biker? I am a biker, absolutely, yes. What have you got at the moment? I've got a Kawasaki 636. Hey, that's pretty cool, matey. Yeah, I love it to bits. So what sort of stuff would, would really well, appeal to you? Miniature models, oh, posters, excellent. things like that. Artwork, I always try oh, to get absolute, artwork. artwork. That's my absolute passion, artwork. artwork. Preferably with a signature, if I can well, get an yeah, autograph, it's always yeah. nice. Now, you got your money? I've got my money in my pocket. It's 150 big ones. I've got it. And have you had a chance to look around? Yes, I've had a, an opportunity, so there's a few things I quite like. I mean, it's packed. It is mobbed here, absolutely mobbed. But my catchphrase at the moment is, lay on, McDuff, you ready for action? <laughs> I'm ready to rock, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go for go. it. <laughs> Nice Gary. to meet you, How mate. You doing? How you doing? And I believe you're a man very much after my own heart. Like you're looking for like the collectible things, like you the prints and the yeah. autographs and the models and things. Yeah? yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not too mechanically minded, so oh, I'll just stick you to the models yeah. and the prints. I think. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And have you, as I say, you've got. Um, is, is it Valentino Rossi? You particular yeah, favourite, the world Rossi. champion. That yeah, is indeed. And obviously, Degati Bikes as well. Yeah, I know, I know. sure. And you, have you actually got anything that's signed by the man himself or not? Yeah, uh, unfortunately not. I'm not nah. that lucky, but um, if, if I did have a chance, maybe the, the super bikes we, once, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you never know. You, you do occasionally see them in places mm -hmm. like this. You keep your eyes and ears up. You never know, yep. we might be lucky. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, I suppose we've got 150 we'll quid, haven't we? Have to. Got it, we yeah. better get going. Shall we see what okay. we can find before all the goodies go? Yep, no problem. So I'll tell you what, Let's we'll go. see you later. We're going to go and have a look, eh? Okay, Alistair, what have you found? Well, what do you think of this? It looks uh -huh. like a limited edition. Oh, let's show the guys. There we go, guys. Look at this. A Honda CB750, uh, Mini Champs. I'm a big die-cost collector anyway. You said you were. Absolutely, yeah. Like and they're, they're renowned. I mean, they're, they're exquisite. Good, mate. Lots of detail. So what sort of price are we looking at? Well, I'm not sure. I haven't asked the dealer yet. I thought I'd ask your opinion first. Uh, well, look, let's see what he's going to uh, put on it. Okay. Hello there. Well, we're selling them at 69.95. 69.95. Yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Remember, I'm a Scotsman. Remember, yeah, well, I'm a Scotsman. Look at me, I'm you know the silver tongue king. You know, I'm sweating. Uh, what's your best price? Come on. How about sixty? That would be good that for us. That sounds fair to me. Yeah, we'll do that. It's the last one. We're going home. Oh, last one. So yes. you're you're wrapping. Yeah. Oh, well, that's oh, fair. Well, we're going home. I tell you what, Alice. There. Um, as I say, I'm happy if you're happy. I'm happy with that. Let's pay the man. Let's yeah, get man. out of here. It's <laughs> a deal done. Let's go. Yeah. We've got another big Ducati fan here, right. yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? And um, we see you've got one or two. I think you're quite interested in the bigger pieces, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, certainly something big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some, something really for my garage I was looking for, maybe uh, to go above the Ducati if we ever actually get into Very nice too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a reproduction of the uh, of the old uh, 50s um, tank logo. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And this one here is a reproduction of, um, of um, garage sign from the same period. Right, okay. <laughs> And of course, if you had the originals or something like that, you'd be looking at quite a few hundred pounds now, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, they're silly money, the old ones. Yes. Yeah, yes. sure. How much is this one? Is this one? I always got 66 on it. Have you? Right, OK. Is that the one you're more interested in? or, or is um, it? Yeah, I would actually say I'd, I'd prefer that one, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I think it looks more original than that one, just in the, in the fact that it's, it's something I would certainly go for. And uh, I prefer the round one to the, the rectangle one there, to be honest with right. you. Is there, you, and well, you know, we have a very limited budget. You're an you know. old customer, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's a cash deal, you know, so uh, I wonder what sort of the best you might be able to do on that. I'm not your tenor off that one as well. Seems fair to me. Bearing in mind that I'm from Scotland, can I say 15? <laughs> 
you do eat if you got money, you know. Oh, well, uh, you know, he put it in a nutshell, you know. 55. Make it 55. 55, we'll go for that then. Go on then, it sounds a bargain. That's fair enough. Alistair, these are all very interesting. And the reason why is the reproduction signs are very collectible. Right. And I say reproduction because an original <laughs> would probably cost us a fortune, as you Indeed, know. Yeah. And again, I've said this before many times. The, the replica ones that you can get now are so authentic in detail and colour and design that it's still a very collectible piece. Good. Um, the ones we see in front of us, you know, um, very important names in the history of, of, of the whole affair. Motor Guzzi certainly is one after my own heart. Yeah. You know, I lived in Italy for a couple of years and that was a really big manufacturer's okay. name. Sunbeam, of course, uh, the Royal Enfield, some of the more traditional English yeah. ones that we're, you know, we're all familiar with. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just think on a garage wall or as a collectible piece, they would never go amiss. Uh, anything strike you as... Well, I'm, I've probably never been able to afford a Ducati, and there's a Ducati sign that I really like. Okay. <laughs> I know the one, sir. Hey, that, guys, look at this. That's the one. <laughs> How did I know you were <laughs> going to say that? And the reason why I know is Alistair did have a sneak preview earlier, and he did say to me he had his eye on it. Um, this, this is an interesting one, actually. I mean, again, it's a replica, of course. It's made from steel, and you can see the way it's been lacquered in terms of mm. the colour coating. And each particular colour is, is lacquered in turn, as it were. Um, it's a bike insignia rather than a racing insignia. Mm. It's probably probably mid 50s, something like that. And this would have been on the tank. Right. Um, but I think it's a, it's a good piece. Unfortunately, there's a tiny, tiny nick, uh, and that would bother you, really. Yes, wouldn't it, it would. I think it would detract. Yeah, I, I would have said from. normally you'd ask the trader, "Do you have another one?" Etc. Yes. Etc. I know for a fact this is the only one they've got. Ah. And I've heard that before, but I do believe him. Okay. And I think we can come down from 74. I think we should then. I reckon, you know what, with a bit of haggling, how do you feel about 60? If you can haggle it down to 60, I'll have it. This is a bit different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's different, yeah. Yeah, we can see. Uh, do you know, you couldn't get a scooter or a Lambrette or anything for years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was always, although I've got no air now, I was <laughs> like, originally, I used to be into, uh, you know, I remember the old mods and rockers, but yeah. they, these are really quite nice, aren't they? When you look at them, I mean, the detail on that really is, again, yeah. very special, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really and, well made. And some yeah. of this, you know, you've got your corgis and uh, mm -hmm. push them some more Franklin Mint up there. They're always yeah. very popular. But you've got a particular one that's already caught your eye, I believe, haven't you? Yeah, I was just kind of looking for a number 46 there, see if we can, we can see any of them. Well, what we'll do, we'll have a look round to the one you think you've already spotted. Should we okay. have a look over yeah, there? I think we should. See what we can find if, we, if okay. we're lucky enough, should yeah. we? Yeah, we'll have a wander on. over there then. Very interesting, the Valentino Rossi, not sure yeah. which one. Yeah, I, um, the, you've got the one sixth scale, which is huge, but yeah. I think you're more interested in the most recent release, aren't I you? I would be, yes, it suits in with this. The mini chat, the moment to buy stuff here. I could just have a look at What's that. What's the you. story again Thank behind this one? That's Steve. the latest one out, the V5 on right. the. Most of the mini jumps are based on Ducatis, yeah. but now they're branching out with Ducati four cylinders and the five cylinder Honda. Yeah, yeah. sure. And the detail on these has really yes. become very, very yeah. good. Oh, incredible, yes. Yeah. No, what sort of price is this £45. Pound. Right, well, you know we're on a very limited budget well, with this uh, yes, yeah. show. Yeah. I mean, how about the old uh, straight cash? Any uh, I'd do it scope? for £40. Pound. £40, pound, that's minimum. Yeah, I can All right. that, yeah. So far then, the blue team have spent £60 on a limited edition Honda CB750 model and £60 on a replica Ducati sign. This means they have £30 left to spend. The red team have £55 left after also investing £55 on a reproduction Ducati sign and £40 on a Rossi V5 Mini Champ. But which team will have brought the most prize collectibles? Find out soon. Welcome back to the Stafford Classic Bike Show, where two teams have both been given £150 to spend on bike mobilia. Whichever one buys what our judge considers the most valuable and collectible will get to keep the lot. Now you've got a real mix here, haven't you? Yes, uh, I have. Yeah, I mean, look at this. I'm not being rude, but some of this I think is like a load of old junk, but, you know. Actually, I'm sorry, you probably heard me. I said to an ignoramus <laughs> like me, looking at some of this, you'd think it's a load of old junk, but... It kind of is unless you need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there are people here, and I'm sure you're one of them, who could actually turn that into something that's going to move around, couldn't you, and be, you know, yeah, people who make okay. the... Yeah. Now this actually, this was quite mesmerising. This. I mean, I thought it might be an old, like, motor scrambling bike or something, but 
What's the story behind that? Because we can't make our mind out. Someone else said they thought about a hill climber or something like that. It's, I suppose somebody's put, put it together as a, a grass tracker. Um, oh, right. Or some, something like that, you know, trying thing. But it, it is junky. I mean, basically, it's there for breaking. I picked it up this, over the weekend. Yeah. Um, but there's a good normal matchless uh, AMC gearbox in it and clutch and uh, or, uh, 30s BSA engine. Sure. But that's great fun. I think I could. I'm not sure if they let me get any M1 on the M6. I was going to say it could be yours. I'll do your deal on yeah. 400, and it's yours. Do you think it'll fit my backside though? <laughs> I'm sure it will. It's built for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we'll work on that. Nice right. to meet you. Bye See you again. Bye bye. Alistair's getting ahead of me now. Look what he's found. <laughs> what do you think of this one? I love race helmets. They're very collectible. But this gentleman is the trader. Perhaps okay. you could tell us a bit more about this. Yeah, it's owned by a racer, sidecar racer in the late 40s called Harry Pluies. And uh, he gave it to his passenger. And then his passenger acquired it. And then the passenger, uh, he emigrated to Australia. Or, or somebody, or somebody didn't like Whatever the story was, right? somebody wasn't wearing their helmet. And they right. came out their bike and they died. Because oh, wow. he wasn't wearing this helmet. So, so there's a tragic end to this. It's a bit of a tragic a end, right? Because a guy that should have should have been wearing and wasn't wearing on the day his, his own bike out for a ride. Now what? So, cork, cork interior. It's cork interior, yeah. Um, and of the period, what year do we reckon this is? Well, that is early 40s. It's, well, it's inside it, 1941. All right. So what sort of price would something like this be? Uh, something like that. I've had it for quite a while and. Really, the, the guy wasn't that well known. He's, he's in some books, so really, he's always interested enough. About seventy pounds. Alistair, how much have we got left? Thirty. It's too much, it's isn't it? Too much. No, I think I've got my and something else. Uh, maybe you'll be in more interest in it. I don't think even I can talk this man out of uh, the discount. <laughs> I doubt it. Right you've done well from it so far. Absolutely, but, but I don't think it's too, it too much. Yeah. It's a lovely piece. Thank you for your time. Okay, a very interesting item. Pleasure. And also, you know, if you can get your hands on them, very collectible. But make sure racing insignia would certainly help the uh, the price, wouldn't it, in the long run? Thanks very much okay, indeed. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Leon McDuff. Let's go. Well, we've got the two down here, haven't we? Yeah. What's yeah, the... Um, this one, this one this is Steve, by the way, from yeah, Scotland. Nice we met you. earlier. Hello again. Hello again. <laughs> <laughs> you got, good, you got good taste. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. Like you told me I was getting a discount. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you, you know, we might be able, we might be able to do something. Yeah. Let's see. What, now the top one's Rossi, and obviously the bottom one's Rossi. Yeah. The difference is, it's not just in colour. This one's done with an airbrush, which is like the very miniature spray brush that people use for decorating motorcycles. The bottom one's done in pencil. They're both 500 limited editions. Also, what's quite unusual is our artist Steve Wyman, who's regarded as Europe's premier bike artist, has this unique skill of not only been able to draw absolutely stunning pictures in pencil, but he's got this skill with an airbrush, and it's yeah. very unusual to get an artist it is. who has he's done spot. Those does, that's right, yeah. who works in two mediums, yeah. and, and is good in two mediums. It's very, very rare. So we're very fortunate with Steve. Sure. Very, very, very. But it's if you great. look at this one, interestingly, as you more likely know, this is Valentino's trick he does. When he has a win, he always gets off the bike and does a trick for the crowd. Yeah. His favourite standing round the bike, opening the throttle and spinning the bike round and leaving a tyre right. tire rubber in a circle, which yeah. is called a donut. Right. And because it's the end of the race, if you look closely, you'll see the front tyre. I don't know oh, right. you can pick that yeah. up, but it's totally shredded. Yeah, and where the sure. back wheel's spinning, if you look in the smoke, you'll see all the little bits of rubber. Yeah. So it's off very, the very so evocative. It's, yeah. It's this, like, this, this attention oh, yeah. to detail that people yeah, like. Super. Well, that's what makes it so desirable. Yeah, it's and it's the, it is the airbrush one you're after, isn't it, Steve? I have to is say, it yeah, I, like? yeah. <laughs> I did, I'm, I'm quite a fan of the pencil drawings, to be quite honest yeah. with you, but I feel like I'm hard No, people, we, we, we have customers who love the colour, we have customers who love the yeah. pencil, so. I think they're both superb, yeah. 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 So which one is it you're after? Um, I'm going to have to say the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before I do though, I'm only going to have to say I've got one new problem. <laughs> I, I think yeah. I know what's going on. Are you yeah. Scottish? Yeah. Yeah. Things are tough, baby. Are you Scottish? Are you, Scottish? you sound a bit Scottish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, I know what's coming. And yeah. he's got a Jewish mother as well, well so yeah. I know there's a problem so let, with that. Let me look at that and guess about a fiver. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to take budget, set. so I've got £55 left. Yeah. I'm going to have to sell on it. Would you yeah. like, would you yeah. like yeah. to have It's going to a good home. home. If it's okay. going to a good home and you like the lad yeah. and you're going to enjoy the picture, this yeah. is what I like about selling yeah. art. Right. It's when you sell a picture that somebody really likes, mm -hmm. you can have that up on the wall tonight and you're going to be yeah. sitting there and you're going to be looking at that from, and you're going to get a lot of pleasure. Well, let's pay it. the man his money well, before yeah, he changes his, his mind. mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, you rejoin us. Alistair, have we had a good day? We've had a fantastic day. We have. Are we downhearted? Never. 
and <laughs> took the words out of my mouth. Do you remember we had 30 pounds left? 30 pounds. And what a find. What a find. Our last piece is this. A catalogue from Triumph Bikes of the 1950s. Authentic in almost every detail. That is absolutely superb. Now I've talked about this particular well, type of piece mm -hmm. before. You know, sometimes if they're soiled or, or the artwork's damaged with, with biro or something over the years, it's not worthless, but it's worth less. Yes, okay. If we find one as we've done, and this one is pristine. in mint pristine condition, with all the bikes of the time, it's going to appreciate. Now, tell me a funny story about the design of this. There's a postcard story, isn't There's it? A very, it's, when you picked it up, I couldn't believe it. I've had a postcard on my wall for over five years of that very picture. Of the same design of, yes. of, of the front cover of this one? Absolutely, exactly the same. And it's, again, synonymous with the period, isn't it? Mm. The colours, the artwork. Yep. Uh, 30 pounds well spent. You know what? I've got a strange suspicion this will really impress the judge. I hope so. <laughs> I, I hope so too. Hope so I need a win. We need a win. Okay. <laughs> no, we're happy with this and I think uh, that will complete a, a good day's work. I think so. Okay, let's, let's go and show it off. Let's go. Right. Well, we've come to that time again when it all comes to bits or pieces or whatever. This is the moment of truth, isn't it, Steve? Yes. And of course, we introduce you once again to our judge, Mr. Chris Briley, Hi. up from the Corgi Heritage Centre in Haywood, down at great expense. <laughs> now, my old mate over there, Lawrence, I see you've been busy. Yes, we've been busy. And you've been busy too, I can see. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, remember, this is the first time we're seeing each other's purchases. Yes, so of course. I'm steps back in amazement, I'm gobsmacked. Yeah. But you can see our two contestants have got some sort of affinity. Yeah. The fact that they're choices, which is quite Yeah, nice. Can I is. quickly tell you about ours? Go on. Chris, Go on. Yeah, 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 just say, I've had a quick look, but please, you know, what's in that bag is intriguing well, me. What, what that's, is, that's how what's in the bag? That, that's, that's, that's our secret weapon, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, quickly, though. Know, we, we found the uh, Mini Champs road bike, uh, a Honda CB750. It's brand new on the market. It's extremely highly detailed. We think very desirable, very collectible. Not necessarily a race bike, mm. like you would normally see on the, on the marketplace, sure. but certainly a road bike. And I think there'll be a whole series of those. You like that, didn't you, Anastair? Um, of course, the Ducati sign, a repro. Again, we've talked about repros being um, less desirable but not worth less in a way somehow mm. uh, if it was an original of course we'd spend hundreds of pounds <coughs> this is a this is a, a, a good copy but it used to come when when the um, originals have kind of long dead and buried yeah, the, the, these will then become collectible in, in their own right absolutely so. and this particular design from Ducati is, is an authentic 50s design uh, on on road bikes of mm. the time so a really nice piece uh, and Alistair chose that but can I show you what's in the bag guys please go please on, do okay folks here we He's go it's itching for this isn't itching. it like, should you have a trumpet fanfare dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and there you go um, it's a catalogue authentic from the 50s uh, Triumph bikes and it is in mint condition I don't know if you guys wow. can be can see that. Now there's mint and mint and that, that is <laughs> incredible. Early 50s, we think about 1951, 52, uh, a steal. C can I ask how much you paid for it? Well, we got it for a snip, didn't we? <laughs> but that's all I'm saying. What's a snip? <laughs> I can't reveal, but we haggled, uh, we liked it, we liked the artwork, we liked the design, but more importantly, we liked the condition. Yeah. And I think that was, that was paramount in Alistair's well, choice. And there's no doubt that mint and pristine condition like that is very rare. Sure, you know, hard to find. Well, that's really a, a sort of item that you really deserve you to come second. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on a more... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know. but we did quite oh, well as well, didn't we, Steve? Another Ducati, uh, Ducati fan, of course. Again, gone for the same, uh, the same place really to buy a different, a different sort of uh, display. But again, very special and you know great detail. But it is a repro. But we do believe in years to come. Again, as Chris said, mm. that would be something that people would love in their collection. Then we got the very latest of the Mini Champs bike once again. This has only just been released. The very, very latest Valentino Rossi bike. Once the details superb on those. Yes, yeah. Now, as Chris would well know, and, and Lawrence as well here, these are very hard to get because they're so popular. Put them on the shelves and they sell out. So we were very delighted to get that. But our uh, piece de resistance, as we might I say, didn't know you spoke we felt, <laughs> no, that's Russian actually, but we felt this might be uh, something special because this, of course, you are a big Valentino yep. Rossi fan. This is actually him celebrating winning the world championship on last year's bike, yeah? And this is at the end of the race uh, where he actually 
actually does, he spins the bike round and does what they call the donut and you see all the tyres. You see even on the art, bits of the tyre flying around. It's that authentic, it's superb. Wait, wait, wait. And you, a limited edition oh, once again. Oh, we but, liked uh, it, we did like that. Yeah. Mr. But you'd know all and about that. And this is airbrushed as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, of course, that being such a slimline elfin figure, right, right. I don't have the pleasure of eating too many these days. <laughs> exactly. Every one of these shows has been tough, but. Um, uh, unbelievably, uh, the skill of this artist to mm. airbrush. I mean, I've seen airbrush work before, but that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we agree. Obviously, Mini Champs, um, great, great model manufacturers, uh, great bike, the latest bike. Both of these two are on a par. You both like Ducatis, both signs. Another nice Mini Champ bike again. Sure. Lawrence, what can I say? I, I collect myself and um, have a lot of uh, mint, pristine railway catalogues, but that Triumph catalogue is is just the business. That, Thank so you. that fair play, Gary. No matter whether your bung didn't work, <laughs> that today I the blue team. I settled for a win. I oh, think. Well, I tell oh, you winners. what, I couldn't have travelled home on the train with me winning. <laughs> it wouldn't have been worthwhile, would it? <laughs> it wouldn't have been worthwhile. No, so I'm there. Uh, so I'm well delighted. done, guys. Thanks very much. Well done. Thank you. Very well, we can see defeat with that. Well, that absolutely, is a lovely it was a nice well, done. well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, well sir. Well Cheers, Gary. Bye, bye, yeah, cheers. <laughs> to be honest, folks, we've had a splendid day, haven't we? All we round. really yeah. had, and uh, some great finds. I mean, all our contestants have done really well. So great, guys. Yeah, good. What we say though is keep looking. You never know what you're going to find here yeah. out there in the world. And if you enjoy it, that's the most important thing. But we'll see you soon again, eh, on uh, Bike Mobilia. Tell off. Bye. Take care. Now, see you bye. later.